Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off 24W14 Potato, the latest April Fool's snapshot from Mojang. And you can see they decided that poisonous potatoes are absolutely amazing. So let's investigate what this will bring. So in game, because looking at the wiki page or the change log wouldn't be very helpful in the grand scheme of things, you are going to occasionally find these potato portals. So, you can see, it's all potatoes. And this is what this update's theme is. It's making fun of the poisonous potatoes' lack of usage. So, you can see here, potatoes. There's not too much to them besides that they're potatoes. So, in here, you can see various junk items can be found. It's a ruined portal copy. And there's potato oil. I have not seen what this does, but it's supposed to be quite slippery. So, with this in mind, you can see that if it's a potato portal, well, it must go somewhere. That's because there's, well, a potato dimension. So, with this very goofy sprite here, you can see how you can get sent to the potato dimension. And this is the first take of this clip, ironically, which means I have no idea what I'm looking at initially besides, wow, it's a potato aether. So you can see, uh, this is quite the update right now. It's all about potatoes. So, looking at this dimension, a couple things of note. The sun is now poisonous. And two, it's completely fleshed out. Sure, it might look like an Aether knockoff, but at the same time, it's still a really good dimension. It has mine shafts under here, reminiscent of old days of floating island generation and turning this today because uh viewer's sake there's also ores in here so if you look around then you might occasionally see something so it's not the most common stuff but here some iron in here there's even some amethyst geodes from time to time although i've noticed that some of them actually just have potatoes inside of them and have exteriors of cobblestone and granite so all this stuff and then Notice there's this weird ore, resin ore. I do not know what resin ore does. But anyways, all of this, of course, has a little catch to it. So of course, shipwrecks. There is buried treasure in this dimension, surprisingly. So every time they've had an April Fool's update, it's been pretty reminiscent of things that are yet to come. You notice with the voting update, then we got crafters afterwards. And... How funny, I already got the advancement for all biomes. And then afterwards, well actually before then, we had the dimensions update, which foreshadowed dimensions being added to data packs. I think this is a hint to an end update, since Mojang has already confirmed that they're doing it at some point. I don't see why not, it could be pretty soon, perhaps 122. So looking around in here, you'll notice that it's a completely normal plains village besides the block palette. So, you can see, there are villagers in this dimension, or at least I think there are, because it would be kind of weird to have villages without villagers. But anyways, this is a completely functional dimension. If you happen to fall out of the world, then you'll be met with this humorous credit sequence, which is pretty funny. So, I'm going to go through it very, very quickly, but more or less, it's a joke on the end poem, because the end poem is intentionally not meant to make sense. So, doing all this, you know, slow down if you want to see it, but this is a completely functional poem. And it's also quite a bit smaller. And then after that, you quote unquote erupt from the ground according to the subtitles, and you'll go back to your spawn point. However, you can actually set your spawn point here. So it's a little bit different, so it you might get trapped in here depending on what you do. Next up, there are some paintings here. You'll notice that they're all poisonous potato themed. Nothing terribly interesting besides the fact that they go above 4x4. Four four. This one right here is a whopping 8x8. Eight eight. So, perhaps data packs will have access to larger paintings. Who knows? But, as you keep exploring this dimension, you'll notice that well, the ores here actually craft things. If you go into this menu right here, then you can get things like a poisonous polytra, a potato peeler, 
whatever a dent is, and a poisonous potato hammer. There's also enchanted golden poisonous potato, which happens to just be raw gold. If you eat this, then, well, you get some very, very bad poison. But you also get good and bad luck. What do you gain from the end of this? Nothing. Yeah, it, this is pretty much just a negative now. But regardless, it's an item. And there's this poisonous potato hammer, in case you ever wanted to throw something very, very far. Also, there's phantoms in this dimension. Have fun! This update also happens to have crafting compatibility. Of course, there are the potato planks and such. Oh, I seem to not be able to tell the difference between real planks and potatoes. Then, we have a bunch of potato blocks. You can see, rummaging through them here. The golden poisonous potato is crafted like a golden apple, while its enchanted version is like the legacy console version. There's a hot potato, I guess. And going through all this, there's also a potato eye. I guess that leads to some sort of structure. The potato peeler, the lashing potato, a whole bunch of potato themed things. But where are the carrots? No, there are no carrots. If you craft yourself the potato eye, then you can follow its destination. And if you go far enough, you'll find the Colosseum, which is definitely not just inside of a treasure bastion. Okay, maybe it is. And inside of it, we have Mega Spud, a new boss. So, I'm going to try taking this thing on with some potato items. And yes, it is abundantly obvious that this is, well, yeah, it's a treasure bastion. But you can see, this is quite the battle, because it's an actual boss fight. Not a very uh, complex one, but it seems to exist. So, you know, actually try winning. But notably, it's very tough. So, this guy is pretty tough. He seemingly has armadillos following him. I do not know why. But this thing is going to require a lot to take down. But also, hey, a new bugged death message. So, if you realistically want to defeat this thing, you're going to need, like, seriously end game gear. You're gonna need strength potions, you're gonna need shields, bows, perhaps even just one shot it with the mace or something like that. Because technically, this is a 1.21 snapshot, so you have access to that. Now, if you're wondering about this place and how to get to and from it, well, there is something you can do. You can either beat that boss and get its staff, I'm not going to even try pronouncing that. And this will create a portal wherever you want. Or you have to find one of those portate portals. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I give up today. Anyways, you can see a pedestal is here. If you place a poisonous potato on it, it opens a portal to and from this dimension. So that gives you an idea of what you can do here. Now, of course, there's a bunch of intricacies with the actual stuff, such as dent being a joke on trident. You can get three of those in order to craft it. And just a bunch of other small things, but these are the major things. The rest, I encourage you to try out this, well, quote unquote, snapshot. I don't know what he's saying. And with this snapshot, you actually do get one item, this elytra variant can be combined with this lashing potato, which can be crafted with stuff from this dimension, in case you ever wanted to not have to deal with rockets. So, considering my end update theory with all this, perhaps this is Mojang's answer to the firework becoming too OP. And honestly, I think it's a pretty good answer. So, you know, share your comments on my idea that this could be some sort of joke on the upcoming end update, or am I just insane? So, either way, a very interesting update here, and who knows, maybe this is some foreshadowing. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, and if you want to, try out the snapshot for yourself. Considering there's so much, and it would take a lot of time to figure out how it all works, well, why don't you try it? It's a functional dimension, it has a very, very tough boss, and overall, there's stuff for you to do in here.
and if you have Bedrock Edition, perhaps you want to check its counterpart. So, either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.